Welcome folks to Clunkers and Classics. Where last episode on this truck got all the bodywork done. All the dents, busted up fiberglass. It just needs to be uh, sanded down and painted. But we just grabbed some black paint. I don't usually do a guide coat, but just to show you guys. Just get some black spray paint. This door here did last, needs to be uh, blocked down and reprimed. Rest of it's okay. Well, except for the tailgate. So, use some spray paint. Just the cheapest stuff you can get. Spray it like this. Okay, so you want to sand this down and then you're going to show, it's going to show up your high spots, low spots, scratches, dings, stuff that you missed. Okay, so we'll just put, we'll put that on there for now. And then this tailgate, I think this dent here was really the only one. I like that we did a little bit on the top so that's good there those are the only two spots we need to sand and reprime and then after that sand her down with 320 400 grit and uh i did forget to put a little primer on there so I, when i reprime this door i'll put some primer on there <clears throat> okay so i think that's what the plan is for this video is to get her all sanded down ready to paint and then we're just going to paint the roof and the inside of the bed for now and then later on when we paint the whole truck we're going to mask off the roof up up to this line here and then just paint the sides and the uh hood tailgate uh, we'll mask that off with paper plastic the roof so it'll be shiny But the bed I don't care about it'll get over spray on it What we're gonna do is take the DA with like 180 grit and just buzz over this just enough for the paint to stick We're not gonna go overboard on it. We're not gonna strip her down the metal and prime it and Put truck bed coating and you know all that crap on it. We're not gonna do that. It's a cheap truck If it was a nice truck worth a lot of money yeah, we'd go overboard on it, but not not this truck. It just ain't worth the uh, worth the time and the money and the effort to uh, do all that. I still get comments. Oh, these trucks are worth a fortune. Not here, they're not. Not here, they're not. I just look. Even those old square bodies, pick them up twelve, fifteen hundred bucks. You know, just in this type of shape, and even in really good shape, twenty five hundred. So. That's probably what I'm hoping to get out of this. Okay. Um, last episode. Well, I got that. I guess we can wreck the masking tape. We tried the uh, heat gun. It just looks all splotchy. It looks like it's stained. Better than it was before, but... So a few people suggested the torch. Now, I <laughs> got a torch, propane torch here. We can try it, but you gotta move fast. You know, you know, you could easily melt this and just ruin it. Uh, hang on here, guys. I don't know. I think there's some in it. Maybe it's empty. Maybe 
I got it. Open it just a little bit, but okay. Where do we want to try it? Right in the middle here. Actually, it's looking better than a heat gun, but it's still looking kind of splotchy, like it's water stained or something. Okay, let me turn that off. I don't know. Uh -huh. It looks a little bit better taking off some of that white, although that wh that whitish might have come back over the last few days from sitting around. But anyway, a few of you uh, said that this is called Shadow Blue. I don't know. I probably there's probably a sticker in a glove box, and I can find out or look it up. But I'll take your word for it. Uh, somebody said the O'Reilly's has it. Not my O'Reilly's. My O'Reilly's closest to me is pretty small. And uh, I know they don't have half the stuff most O'Reilly's have, like paint and stuff. They got some spray paint, but I didn't see any SEM interior paint or anything like that. Uh, so the only place is on uh, eBay. And yeah, it's 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a can of blue paint. So I think I'll order it, guys, maybe in a few days when it comes in. We'll paint these two door panels because I don't... I'll try heating this up off camera and see if it makes any better. It might look a little bit better. 20 bucks might be worth it to uh, just paint it blue. Oh, we're also going to paint... We're not going to paint it all perfect. We're just going to blend in a uh, little white paint on these door jams here where it's all scratched and and stuff you know we'll put a little paint in here where the two-tone was uh yeah these holes here where they put in to punch the i don't know if i should fill them in might fill them in with a little bondo and uh i'm gonna take this back off so we'll dust in the jams a little bit paint inside the bed paint the roof nice paint the back of the tailgate that'll have to be sanded pretty good uh, not real good but I mean it's it's the worst of the bed is the tailgate for all the paints peeling off so that's the plan for this video guys uh, so yeah okay well, it's getting the end of the day now. If you haven't seen my last video, uh, bought a new winch for the trailer, put that on. Got a free camper from the neighbors. Way over there. Check out the last video. Camper's for sale if anybody wants it. Okay, so it's late in the day. About to take Nikki for a walk. Nikki, you ready to go for a walk? Nick, you ready to go for a walk? You ready to go for a walk? Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow and we'll try to 100 degree days, guys. It's pretty hot. So I'm going to probably work on this a little while longer and then I'll see you back in the morning. Okay, guys. I tried to heat some more of that up yesterday. Uh, what that propane torch is doing is it's warping this plastic, so I wouldn't recommend that. 
I think I did in here. So I went ahead and ordered a can of uh, Shadow Blue. Uh, I don't know if it'll be here in time for this video, but definitely next next time we'll we'll paint the two door panels at least and uh, go from there. Okay. So all we got to do is block down this door and the tailgate and reprime it. Then the rest of the truck just needs to be scuffed down. So we sprayed some uh, guide coat on there. And uh, got some water on there. Okay, so you just want to block it down and uh, reprime it. While you look for spots, like I said, look for... Uh, High spots, low spots. Mainly got to concentrate on all the uh, the areas that you did bondo work. Those are the most important. As you can see, you want to get it. Want to get it all looking like this. You want to get all these little scratches and low spots and stuff out of it. Okay, you can see the sand scratches in there. Just keep keep blocking it out so it's smooth. You got to keep pounding the sandpaper there with your hand. Can't do it holding the camera. But anyway, let me do that door there. And then we're going to get the DA. And smooth all this. Not smooth it out. Just sand it down. Probably, probably just get the rough edges off of here. There's a little bit of dried concrete or something there. We'll chip that off. And basically just scuff it down so the paint sticks and uh, we'll concentrate mainly on getting these edges here we'll get them smooth and the top of the tailgate smooth and the rest of it basically just scuff it so I'll be back when we get get to that okay guys I got this door blocked down uh, I think I just got a couple little pinholes right in here. Other than that, it's ready to prime. Okay, we're going to go over here and start sanding the back. Got my electric DA with some 80 grit. And uh, basically we're going to sand it real good just around the edges here in the, the bed. So... I could spend all day sanding it nice and smooth and fixing the dents and stuff, but I'm not going to. Basically, just going to do that to all the edges up here. Let me get up here. <coughs> There's still some dents up here. <clears throat> Okay, we're just going to clean up the edge here because, you know, we're going to be painting. Want the nice paint job up here. 
It's got a lot of paint on it because there's some that gold on, on here. So I guess this whole... No, I don't think this whole thing was gold. But anyway, there's gold on there. So maybe they had a gold stripe along here or something. But yeah, we're just going to... Might go over some of this stuff with 80. But most of it, I think we're just going to go over it with 180. The finer grit. Same here. We're just going to smooth out that edge along the top then the rest just with 180 and just uh just go over it like this just go over it like that uh the areas you can't get out real good probably just use a scotch bright pad or something and scuff it and like I said I got that bed mat I'm gonna cut up and uh, put it in here after it's painted but yeah well and we'll, we'll smooth up this area here the 180 grit just the tops and the edges and then I'll put a little primer on these edges here when I paint the door or prime the door and then I got to block block this tailgate out so we'll prime the door the tailgate and these edges and the rest will just be scuffed down okay so let me do that and I'll be back okay guys got the door tailgate all blocked down and primed so everything just needs to be scuffed down sanded down and painted so, well, like I said, what we're going to do is paint the roof and the inside of the bed. And then we're going to let it sit for a few days before we paint it, which will give us enough time to sand the rest of the truck while this paint's drying. So what I got is uh, 400 grit, wet and dry. So... I'm going to scuff all this down. My wipe, I just wiped it over with a paper towel so there's a bunch of lint and stuff. But basically, yeah, just sand her down. Don't dig in with your fingers or anything. Just put it in the palm of your hand like this, circular motion. You know, you can do a, like this on the edges, but... gonna sand her down for the paint to stick that's pretty much it and uh, when you're done with this you keep use both hands go like this get the dust out see just keep using it so you don't think it's useful anymore then you get a bucket of water and we'll be using all this wet and dry too sand the rest of the truck so after we paint that yeah we just go over over the whole truck like we just did the roof just uh you know like that 400 grit make sure you get all the edges real good so it sticks paint sticks okay So I think that's it. Uh, let me get all that sanded. Like I said I'm just scuffing the bed. Got most of it scuffed. Need to do a few more little areas. I'm gonna paint the roof first since I'll be standing in here, and then I'll come back and we're gonna just gonna put two coats on the inside of the bed and the tailgate here. So let me get the rest of the tailgate or the bed sanded scuff the roof then we're going to mask up the windshield put some paper down and uh paint it probably out here there's no wind today so i think we'll just paint it right out here in the open with the sun it should dry pretty fast okay i'll be back well guys this transmission leak is getting real bad
it's not that line that I fixed earlier. There's all the drips there. I wiped it off there a couple days ago. It's coming right by the transmission mount there. But I don't know where. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to have to get to that. But I was fixing to move it and go wash it before I paint it. So, just wanted to check it one last time. Uh, probably not going to paint it now. It's getting late in the day. Probably paint it first thing in the morning. Roof and the inside of the bed. But yeah, want to uh, wash it all down. Power wash it. And uh, get it all ready. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just washed it down and uh, wait for it to dry a little bit. I'm gonna spray some air and get the water out, mask it up, paint the inside of the bed and the roof. But for right now, and while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, we're gonna do some water sanding. We got some 400 grit wet and dry. I use it dry, and then when you think it's worn out, just get a a thing of water like this. You put some soap in it and just sand over it like this. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to go over the whole truck like that. And uh, the whole truck will be ready to paint. But we'll stop and see if we can fix that transmission uh, leak and uh, a few other things there before we paint the whole truck. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. I have my cheap Harbor Freight gun here. Going to put a couple of coats on the roof and the inside of the bed. It's so friggin' sunny and hot that it's gonna dry super fast. So I'm not too worried about dust or bugs or pollen or anything getting into it. Okay, I'm going to do the inside of the bed.
Okay, I'm gonna do all the inside of the bed and the back of the tailgate, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. Actually, that's just one thick coat. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna put that bed mat in there, it'll look great. There was no use spending hours and hours and hours of sanding it all nice and smooth and slick and everything. Just an old truck. Looks just as good. Nobody's gonna give a shit. Okay, so uh, all we got left to do is just uh, sand it all. But we're not gonna do that till next video. It'll be a few more days. In the meantime, uh, I ordered the paint for them door panels. If they come in the next day or two, we'll do that this video. Try to fix the transmission leak, hook up a stereo. Uh, a few other little things just get it all ready so it'll be ready to go after it's painted paint it up put the molding side moldings on and i think that'll probably be about it oh we'll uh probably do that this video take them tail lights clean them up and clear them so they look nice i mean i think they've been cleared before or something they got over spray and all i think they've been cleared Anyway, we're going to scuff them up, clear them, have them ready to put on. You know, just little stuff like that. And, uh, okay. Well, it's hot as hell, so I'm going to go in and get some lunch and rest up a bit. i got to call on the uh, Avalanche, see if they, I, I don't know. I, I didn't get my number last time when I brought it to the transmission shop. I don't know if he still had it or not, but it's been a week. I haven't heard from them, so I'm going to call them. Might have to go pick that up. We'll be back on this tomorrow. Or tonight, maybe. Okay. Okay, guys. I had to change the lug nuts from the 2001 parts truck. The other ones I had were sticking out too far. Uh, I, I'm bad at names. Whoever sent those three caps, thanks again, because they fit. And the two that I had didn't they're a little bit too sh too small diameter just a hair so now I'm missing one but anyways better than missing all four okay uh, also from the 2000 Silverado is this bed mat it is ripped here but we're gonna cut it from here to here here to here make it one square and it should fit in there I think it's gonna be about an inch or two short back here or up there anyway we're gonna lay that in there okay uh, that's what I'm doing right now there was something else that I forgot so I'll be back okay guys I cut all four ends off just going to uh, Clean her up a little bit and stick it in there. Okay, we clean it up and uh, we'll stick her in there. The spare tire I used. I had to, to for this I used it on that camper that I got but I was supposed to have two more of them tires and rims and I cannot find them so I don't know what we can do about a spare I mean I could take one off this I got four junk ones on the 2001 Silverado they're, they're six lug but then I won't be able to move that I really need to move that back over here somewhere but until then no big rush on getting a spare but anyway i'll be back oh wanted to show you i kind of dusted in these jams here a little bit this is this is hitting on there and uh just dusted in a little paint I have to clean up these uh clean up these weather stripping here real good Take some thinner, wipe the primer paint off these, and put them on. So I'll do that next after this. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, there it is. 
Looks pretty good in there. Protect it a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. We're going to uh, water sand these taillights down and clear them. So you want to get a little bucket of water, sandpaper, sand them all down. I think it's been cleared before and it's got some residue on it. Anyway, I'll be back when we get ready to clear them. I think it's just all dust. Okay, so we're going to get that done. Um, I took this tire off the parts truck, Silverado over there. Uh, problem is the tires are too big to fit this exhaust. It's, it's going to hit. Okay, and then we tried another six lug rim, but the opening was too big. I believe this will fit this opening here. So, I got this tire here. It's a little 215, 60, 16. And we're going to put that, that tire on this rim. And then it should, I kind of set it up there. It should just barely clear this tailpipe. So we'll have a spare under there. Uh, be better than nothing. I mean, it'll be all lopsided putting a little tire on there, but if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, you gotta get moving to a gas station or something, that'll do it. Okay, so that's the plan. We're gonna put that tire on there. Uh, hopefully it won't interfere with the bolts to put the bumper on after it's painted. But we can take it back down. Okay, so we're going to get those two little jobs done first. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got stuff in there. Got a little bit of clearance. So I think that'll be good. Fits up there good. Okay. Uh, got the tail lights. Sanded, put a couple of coats of clear on there. If you don't have a paint gun or you or buy you wanted to buy clear, you can get the spray cans of clear. Give it a couple of coats, it'll look just like new. Okay, this is the paint. I went over this in the first video. This is the acrylic enamel paint I bought off eBay. Didn't use very much for the uh, roof and the bed. Uh comes with reducer hardener $111 shipped uh, that's what we paint the rest of the truck with should look pretty good okay I'll be back we got tunes Okay, yeah, they had all the wiring kind of messed up. They had the two, the accessory and the power going to one wire, so I had to put the, the one on the ignition so it comes on with the key. So, anyway, got tunes. Uh, I think the two back speakers, and this one works here. That one doesn't, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so that's another little job done. I'm gonna get some zip ties and tie that up. I had to ground the the wire right too. They just had the ground wire wrapped around a hole there. So anyway, I'm gonna tie this up a little bit and uh, make it a little bit neater. So I'll be back. Okay guys, just mixed up a little clear in my gun. Damn flies. No, uh, no, it ain't working. It's been painted before and the old paint's wrinkling. Probably some spray paint. I'm try to fill it in, but 
may work. Yeah, it may work. Let's use up the rest of this. I just put a little dab in there, enough for about three or four coats. Let me finish that up. Okay, guys, I just got back from uh, running around doing errands, errands and uh, checking my P.O. box. I thank uh, Terry Roth for sending me, looks like a welding helmet. Thanks. Uh, I don't have a name. He sent me some new, uh, rust neutralizer. Thanks. I use that all the time. Some odd sandpaper. And from Will and Sue Skinner. They sent me this uh, very heavy stone thing for puppy um, very thoughtful of you thanks uh, I paid to have puppy put down I paid for the uh, cremation but I didn't pay I don't know they wanted 200 and something dollars for the if I wanted the ashes and I just said no I don't I don't need them I wish I did so she don't have a burial site or nothing but I'll find a good spot for that, and I like that. It's very nice. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, finally got the uh, SEM flexible coating for vinyl, flexible, and rigid plastics, carpets, and velour. Shadow blue. Uh, I didn't check on the... I just kind of looked in here, and the numbers are all kind of dirty. So, I didn't look. I'm taking a couple of you, you guys' uh, words for it that it was shadow blue. If it's not, oh well. Uh, I just went ahead and masked this door panel off because these clips tend to break off. Not reusable. Same with these clips here might be a problem. Just took me five minutes to mask it. It's a lot better than an hour screwing around trying to put one back on. Okay, I wiped it down with thinner. We're going to use a little uh, Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. Uh, just to help it out a little bit. Can't hurt. Just put a, a single coat on it. It's supposed to help it stick better. Okay. This one's not that bad. It's just mostly faded up here. Not as bad as that driver's side I've been screwing around with. What is that? Shoot out clear. Oh, there we go. Parts not well oh, shit. But all this crap is here. So far it looks a little off color. Anyway, this is 20 bucks off eBay. My O'Reilly's didn't have it. I didn't check at AutoZone. They may have had it, but probably not.
I don't know if it's hitting my finger. I think it's hitting my finger and anyway guys, let me put on a let me put on a couple of coats of that. We'll come back and see what it looks like. Probably gonna take about three coats. And if it looks good, we'll do the driver's side. So I'll be back. Okay guys, there it is. Actually looks pretty good. It I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit off the color. Uh I don't know, it looks closer to this blue down here than this. But anyway, uh it's three or four coats of that. It's it could notice it too much on this, but the other side it took about four coats to cover up them splotchy looking things from the torch and the heat gun. So anyway, looks a hell of a lot better. I don't know if I trust the paint for, you know, it might refade from the sun after a while. It may take a long time, I don't know. Uh, it may scratch. You know, grabbing here with your nails or something or keys and it may scratch. I don't know. That's why I was really trying to uh, bring back the color with the heat gun or the torch. But neither one of them worked. It's the only thing that worked. Be good enough. I can keep it scratch free and fade free till I sell it. That's good enough. So, uh, yeah, that's it guys. Like a little tape out there okay uh and yeah so basically it took about a whole can can was 20 bucks got a little bit left for touch up but basically yeah one can to do three or four coats two door panels so uh do i want to buy any more and do the rest of this plastic pillars dash probably not i'm probably just going to clean it up and that's about it okay so guys i think that's going to wrap it up for this video we got quite a bit done uh i did get a power steering leak here two i checked the power steering fluid and it's empty so now we got a transmission leak and a power steering leak i haven't got to them yet to check it I have no idea what that transmission is. It's right from the transmission mount. So I'll get to that. So we just got that and then just to paint it. I pretty much got it all sanded. I got a few little areas to sand, but pretty much sanded down. Uh, then just gonna mask it off and paint it. That'll be the next video. Go ahead and paint everything white, put the side moldings on, taillights back in. Put the back bumper on and we need to test drive it at some point uh see how it drives see how it shifts okay guys so i think that's it um i bought a few parts for the nomad so i'm going to squeeze in them videos i haven't made them yet but i got a few parts i want to put on there nothing sponsored so um what else i guess that's about it okay so like comment share subscribe bottom right hand corner of the screen hit the subscribe button uh ring the notification bells people say be notified next time i have a video all that stuff welcome to all the new subscribers from recovering the dash uh YouTube is really weird guys. It's uh You don't really know how your videos are getting promoted, you know your subscribers can find them but for new people to find videos They recommend them and stuff like that And you don't know when they're gonna do it or how they do it or whatever Because this dash video that I redid a year and a half ago for the Nova That's going strong. That's my bit been by my best video for the last month and the month before that 
they never took off when I it went you know usual views when I uh, first made it and then about a year later it took off and you know it's I think it's up to close to like 400,000 views almost half a million crazy but anyway uh, yeah I'm making a lot of money off that video other than the rest of these videos guys I don't really make shit off of them 50 bucks something like that uh, but yeah that dash one is helps out every month gives me a couple hundred bucks every month to pay some bills you know I gotta stay up up my slow as molasses internet satellite thing there that's I don't know what it is now 88 bucks a month I keep up in that so as long as I get to pay for that and a few other little things <coughs> Okay, thanks again for everybody sending me stuff. If you want to send me stuff, it's in the description. My P.O. Box, uh, PayPal, stuff like that if you want to help out the channel. Thanks again for this. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. I'll probably put it over by the pen by Nikki so I can see it every time I, I uh, go take Nikki for a walk because Nikki's ready to go for a walk. Nikki, you ready to go for a walk? Nikki, you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk, Nikki? <laughs> you want to go for a walk? Sometimes she'll start yelping. Good girl. Good girl. Nikki's a good girl. Nikki's a good girl. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you next video.